Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Wednesday, March 29th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by ChevyDriveChicago.com, your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Bears absolutely open to trading back again, only if, according to Albert Breer of Monday Morning Quarterback and SI.com, one of the top-level players is still going to be there. Ryan Poles would like to get a really, really impactful player at pick number nine, but he's absolutely open to moving if he feels like one of the players, he grades them by colors, blue is the top level. If one of those blue players is going to be there wherever he's trading back to and he's getting draft capital to do so, he's open to doing just that. George McCaskey met the media today. And here's what he had to say about the team's plans in Arlington Heights. There's still a lot of work and analysis that needs to be done before we make a decision about whether we are going to develop the property. And if we develop the property, whether that development will include a stadium. He's playing the legislative game, folks. He's got to appease the politicians so he gets what he wants. They're building a stadium out there. That's why Kevin Warren is the president. Also on the rebuild, here's what he said. Quote, I'm not a patient person, and we're not asking Bears fans to be unusually patient. But Ryan Poles, like Kevin Warren, has done the background work and has the thoughtful, measured approach, which we believe is ultimately going to be successful. Kyle Shanahan met the media for the 49ers. Interesting stuff from Kyle. He basically said, and this is what the San Francisco media is reporting today, that basically Trey Lance is no longer the quarterback of the future that a seventh-round draft pick has surpassed him, and when Brock Purdy's healthy, he'll be number one on the depth chart. Aaron Rodgers, according to Albert Breer of Monday Morning Quarterback and SI.com, the Aaron Rodgers deal could get done sooner rather than later, maybe in the next week, because Brian Gutekunst, the Packers GM, and Joe Douglas, the Jets GM, have an excellent working relationship. Opening day is tomorrow. Cubs host the Brewers. Jonathan Hood and I will be doing our Cap J. Hood morning show on ESPN 1000 from Old Crow Smokehouse. The fun starts at 7 a.m. Carmen and Yurko will follow us there as well. White Sox tomorrow night on ESPN 1000. They are in Houston to take on the Astros. And back to football for just a moment. A signing that came in today. Calais Campbell leaves Baltimore. The DN is now a member of the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Lamar Jackson clapped back at his critics about his injury, said he could not have played in the playoff game last week with his knee injury. And he also said, I'm not injury prone. My long-term health prognosis is good. And Mike Rhodes leaves VCU. The basketball coach is the new head man at Penn State, replacing Micah Shrewsbury, who's now the head coach at Notre Dame. Have a great rest of your day. Baseball's back, baby. Recaps, Bulls, Bears, White Sox, Cubs. Keep it locked on this channel. Hit that subscribe button. And please hit the like button because the algorithms love when you do that. Appreciate you greatly. Take that.